Hello and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I want to look at adding an app to Microsoft Teams. Specifically, I want to add an app called Lists and it's a great utility that allows me to do things like keep track of inventory, plan events out, basically maintain any type of list that I might want. Now, this is an extension from SharePoint Lists, and this is really the evolution of SharePoint Lists turning into Microsoft Lists. I did a previous video where I talked about lists by themselves. Here, I'm gonna talk about using them within a Microsoft Teams environment. If that's useful for you, I hope you'll hit the like button. And if you like tips like this, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Also, share with any colleagues that might find this useful. Let's have a look at using lists within Microsoft Teams. Here I am in Teams and what I want to do is I want to add an application because when I want to work with lists, I'm working with an application. And I'll be doing quite a number of videos on different applications I can add functionality to your Teams environment, but lists is one that's very handy. So let's go into apps and this will give me a list of lots of different apps. I do like using the bottom corner apps here because it does give me categories of apps and it also allows me to go through and, and get a little brief description on what each app does. And if I want, I can do a search here for lists. So I'll search for lists and you'll see that Microsoft list comes up first. So I'll grab that list and you'll notice that it gives you some information. It'll put a tab at the top of your channel, it tells me who created it, languages that are supported. So there's some really cool uh, features here when I use this app button as opposed to hitting the plus sign to add it in. So I'm gonna add that into my team and I'm gonna, what channel? So I'm gonna select what channel's gonna use it and I'm gonna use my astronomy class. So I'm gonna to go to my astronomy class. And if I want, I could actually go into a channel below there, but I'm gonna put it on the general channel as a tab. And now you'll see that I will add list to here by saving it. And now we have lists added as a tab to my astronomy channel. I could have just hit the plus sign and I could add it that way as well. Okay, so if we go here, I'm gonna create a new list. I could also grab an existing list. So this particular product, I did a video earlier on Microsoft Lists, and in that video I showed you how to access it directly through a web URL. But here I can go in and I can create it through a Teams environment, or if I have existing lists, I can import them in. I'm gonna create an existing, a new list. I could pull it in from Excel. Now I'm not going to go through an extensive demo on this, but if you have Excel, say you pull data from a public data set, or if you have an Excel list of in our case, we're going to create a list to help support our astronomy equipment. So let's say I already have an Excel spreadsheet of all of our different astronomy equipment that we use in my astronomy class. I could just pull it in from that Excel spreadsheet. In my case, I'm going to go in and use an asset management tool and I'm gonna use a template here. And underneath this template, it's gonna give me a number of columns that will allow me to sort of say, you know what, this will meet my needs in terms of keeping track of my astronomy equipment. This will give me a starting point. I can customize it extensively. It won't have this specific data. It'll have these columns across the top. And I'll use that template. And I'm gonna call this, let's call it astronomy equipment. Astronomy class equipment. And I'll go in, what's the list about? It's going to be um, our equipment. So let's say this is our lab equipment and we'll make it sort of a nice, as dark as possible with a rocket ship. We don't have a lot of options here, but you can go ahead and, and, and choose a few. So I'll hit create and now it's gonna create that template that I can then start populating. Notice I can bring in a device photo. So I can bring in a photo in here. Um, I can go in and bring an asset tag in here. Now there's two ways that I can add information here. So if I didn't import from an Excel spreadsheet, I can do a quick edit, which puts this into a grid mode, and then I can just fill out all of the elements on the grid. Let's do that. So if I do quick edit, let's do an asset tag, and I'll do one, two, three. Status of this item is gonna be available. Manufacturer of this item. Let's say it's gonna be a company called Orion. They actually manufacture telescopes. Uh, the model in here, I can type it in, Skyview Pro. And asset type, that's gonna be a refractor telescope and I can put like an 80 mil or whatever it might be so I'll put that oh I didn't type put that in there again I don't know if I type that in and hit enter 
I did not hit enter. So I'll just put telescope. Telescope, enter. And now that becomes a, an item in there. I can go to the next item. We'll make it uh, 34234. It's also going to be available. I can drop this down and I notice underneath here, I have this empty. I can just leave it empty or blank. Or again, I could type in the company Orion and I could go in and I can make this, um, you know, a super, a super looker, right? Uh, and this might be binoculars. Oh, I have to type this in. So binoculars. Okay, so you can see that I can use that quick edit mode. I can exit that mode and you'll see my items are still there. And I can put a new item in here, which basically gives me a, a sort of a sheet or a form to fill out. So we'll do asset tag five, six, seven in terms of status underneath here. Maybe it's reserved at the moment. Manufacture here, if I drop this down, you'll notice that Orion now appears in there. And if I go into asset type, you'll notice that binoculars and telescope are in there as well. So let's say this is a set of binoculars in there. And let's say the, the model number is uh, an XT45. Okay, so you can see that and I'll save that. And now we have three different items in there and it's quite handy. Now to make this look a little bit better, we can do some formatting. I guess before we do formatting, one of the things we can do is let's take, so let's take the status. I can add, if I go into my column settings, I can format this column. So when I format this column, notice I have these things called choice pills. That's these, these uh, oval circles here. So I can go in there and edit the styles there. So let's say for example, anything that is retired, I want to make that you know, dark gray, it's going to be retired. I can go into an advanced mode and you can see that there's actually coding I can do in there, but I'll go back to design mode. If I go into the design mode here, I can do a lot of things like go into more styles underneath the retired here. Maybe I want to do things like, uh, maybe my font here, I'm going to make that, you know, it's on gray. So actually the red on gray looks pretty good, but I could also go in here, of course, and use an icon. Maybe it's going to be a, an X there because it's been retired. And I can do alignment of the icon, put borders around it if I want, save that. And you see that what will happen here is, let's just uh, take this item here. So we're going to go in, I'll have to close that. We'll take this item here, the status of this particular item here. Um, I can go in and edit this item. And instead of being available, we're going to make this one retired, save that. And you'll see that it changes to the, the color there. You can also go through and choose how you're going to sort this as a gallery, a compact list. Um, you can do, um, you know, group them by asset type, by manufacturer, purchase information. And then you can also save that view and make that a view. Uh, other things that you can do here that are handy, if you go into the all items here, I can format this current view. In this case here, notice how it's gray, white, gray. I might want to go in and change the alternating row style. So maybe I'm going to make it instead of gray, I'm going to go with a nice green and a nice gray. And for, you know, that'll bring me back memories of when I used to program in COBOL and I'll save that. And then we have that nice, easier to read set of lists. So I can go there, I'll close that again. Uh, the things that I can do here, of course, I can go with the asset tags here. Um, and you can, depending on the type of asset tag you have here, you can go in and you can format it. You can go in and add additional columns in here. So say for example, here I wanna add a person. Maybe I have a person here that is uh, responsible or you know the, the owner of that product, uh, you know, maintains product. I'm making some of this off the top of my head, so forgive me if it doesn't make a lot of sense. And then underneath here, it'll be a person or a group. And maybe I'll allow selection of groups and we'll save that. And so that's going to add a column right there that's going to allow me to put in this responsible column. So now that I've added that column, if I go in here, I'm um, actually hit the ellipse here. I can edit this, this particular record underneath responsible. I could put in my name in here. So if I put my name in here, my name's in there, I'm responsible for the product. And you can see I now uh, show up as being responsible for that product. Okay, so that's in a quick example of how I can make a really cool list. Uh, we can even do more with it. So here I have my iPhone attached uh, to my system. So I, you can see the screen here, but if I had my iPhone, I can go into Teams on my iPhone 
And underneath my astronomy class here, you'll notice that if I go to more, look at this, I have my equipment list. So now I can go in and I can see things like where, what assets are available. I can have a look and say, okay, let me see a gallery of all the assets I have. In this case, of course, I don't have any photos, so it's not that cool looking. But if I go back, I can go again to the equipment here. Underneath the astronomy equipment, I can say, okay, show me all available assets. I can see that right now the Skyview telescope is available. I can go there and get the information on that particular uh, Skyview telescope. Uh, so there you see, I can, I can also have a mobile look at Microsoft Teams to see what's available to me. And uh, that's a very handy way for a classroom that maybe is on a field trip going on a hike or sharing astronomy and lab equipment. Hope that was useful for you and that you have all sorts of great ideas now on how you might be able to use lists in your environment. I find it a really great way for, like I showed in the video, managing inventory and lab equipment, but it's also a great way to keep track of many, many, many different things that require a list. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it was useful. And there's some other videos here that you might be interested in watching as well. Thank you again for watching.